Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to Live at the Waterhole. What does the bush hold in store for us today? Well, you'll just have to sit back, relax and enjoy the show. My name is Ralph Kirsten and as per usual, please don't forget that this is a live and interactive experience. So we'd love for you to jump on board with us and send us through your questions and your comments. Now, very interesting, we've got two big bulls here. The one on the right, who seems to be a little bit older, uh, he was here first. And then we watched just before the show started a bit of a greeting ceremony between them. And they were obviously just working out who's who in the zoo. Uh, but it seems like quite a relaxed affair for now. And the reason why I say he does seem a bit older, he's got a little bit of a floppy ear. And he just does seem to be a little bit more gnarly. Uh, than the elephant on our left but to his right so it's not an exact science but uh, as I say just with the way that he looks I'm assuming that he's probably in his late 40s maybe early 50s or so and the one on the left there a little bit younger but um, they're both getting in their daily intake of water as well as you can see the one on the right, we have noticed that there is a little bit of geophagia going on here as well. Taking in the mineral salts that would be evaporated just on the edges of this particular waterhole. And it's a very well visited waterhole this. Um, so we can expect a lot of animals coming through here. But we never do know which animals those are going to be. Now, it seems like once again, we are having lots of activity from the elephants early on. And that's an indication of how hot it's getting nice and early in the morning. When it's cold, don't generally see them coming down at this time of the day, more closer to midday when it's getting hotter. Um, but this is going to be more and more so, I think, as we head into summer, the elephants coming down nice and early. I'm not complaining, and I'm sure you aren't either. So there was a bit of drinking going on and now standing deadly still with the trunks being rested on the ground. It's, um, it's just an indication they're either, either having a conversation or they're, um, they may be even having a snooze, which you can find elephants will stand up and sleep. Um, and particularly so when you see them resting the trunk like that, it does indicate that um, it's a bit of a rest, respite, a rest period. The other one seemingly a little bit more active, but um, I would probably lean towards more of them having a chat. We've still got lots and lots of animals here. It seems like the zebra have increased in number now and joining their compatriots in the area. I'm sure there'll be a bit of dust bathing going on and um, lots of eating of soil. And a different species of giraffe, once again, this is southern giraffe, a bit smaller, just a little, slightly different spot pattern as well. And they're also all coming in for a drink. Wonderful. So for any new viewers who have just joined us, hello and welcome to Live at the Waterhole. We're currently, we're at Jamala 
in the Mandikwe Game Reserve of the Northwest Province of South Africa. My name is Ralph Kirsten and what a morning we've had so far. We've been all over the place from Okokuyo in the Tosha National Park of Namibia where we had lots of general game there and of course Oryx and Springbok swimming. We've also been at um, of course Old Donyo, the African camera there uh, in Kenya with lots of elephant activity, giraffe, um, zebra uh, as per usual. Uh, we've also been to Naledi Dam where there were elephants as well uh, with it being very hot today I think uh, definitely heading towards summer so lots of the elephants down early having a drink having a swim that was also evident at Cat Eye also in the Olifants West Nature Reserve of the Greater Kruger National Park um, and so it's just been a great day so far so this young elephant come in now i don't know if this is going to end too well if the bull's getting a little bit too boisterous with that youngster you might see the females now ganging up on him shame the little youngster just wanted to get in and have a drink but uh, the big bull he's got other thoughts So it's always interesting with elephants, uh, particularly when you've got them joining up like this next to a waterhole. Um, there's obviously interesting dynamics here. There's some young bulls, there's uh, one or two older bulls, um, and then the females with the youngsters. The youngsters trying to get in for a drink, obviously that's why the breeding herd is here. Um, the bulls as well, but they seem to have done that part of um, you know, the activity. And uh, there seems to be a lot of socializing going on. Lots of standing around still um, and resting of the trunk on the ground. I think it's an opportunity for them to have uh, conversations about whatever they would want to talk about. Um, and this is like a meeting point. Um, you know, whether you would like to call it a internet cafe or um, the kind of uh, train station, uh, anywhere where you have concentrations of, of people coming together and then conversations happening from there. Um, this is very similar with elephants, but their common denominator being the water, and that's uh, what draws them all towards the same spot. So it's always interesting to see the greetings, um, and the behavior with each other uh, and, and obviously the discussions that we are not a part of because our ears don't um, pick up that low frequency but um, you know just looking at their body language and their interactions is uh, fascinating enough and with that being said obviously we are slowly heading towards the end of the show and I think um, the elephants today have absolutely blown it away so we hope for more of the same. I'm sure there is going to be more of the same in the coming days and months as we head into summer and it's going to get very hot. And hopefully we'll also see the advent of rain and we're going to see a completely changed environment in the likes of here at um, Jamala. I think the animals really need it with uh, more and more of them performing geophagia and eating of the soil, getting in their supplements.